And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Today we're taking a look at Paradox Box. Paradox Box, Paradox Box. I don't know. What this is, it's a very simple device. In fact, this is going to be a short review. Because in this device, you drop a ball into this. It's a three-dimensional maze, except you can't see, and you try to get the ball out the bottom. Is it possible? Stay tuned. Gameplay is very simple for this. You take a small steel ball, which I was really hoping to show you, but it's stuck in here now. You put it in the top, and when you put it in, it pushes in so it can't come back out the top. The only spot it's gonna come out is the bottom. You then just turn it in all different directions. I know it's definitely not a move around, drop, move around, drop, move around, drop. It does do that, but there's you've gotta come back somehow because I have messed with this for a long time. Now here's what boggles my mind about this. If you see, there's a little plus and minus signs. There's different colors. There's arrows pointing in different ways. I thought maybe these arrows are the turn over here, then turn down, and there's some kind of clue, but I, I don't think so. I, I can't figure that it out what those mean at all. They're like hieroglyphics to me. Uh, but I do know that it's possible to get the ball out, that it will eventually come out. Um, so. Anyway, that's how you play this. You drop it and get it out. Once you get it out, you go, woohoo! Okay, first things first. If you are in this room and you have dropped the ball on the top and gotten out the bottom, raise your hand. If, <laughs> if you've noticed, I had, did not raise my hand there. If you have done it more than once, raise your hand. If you've done it more than twice, raise your hand. Yeah, okay, thanks for showing off. <laughs> I don't know. Um, why I can't do this. I have, my, my solution to puzzles has always been sit there and do this until it eventually comes out. That did not work. So Holly, tell us your secret. How do you get it out? I shake it. <laughs> okay, what do you think of this? Do you like it? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, do you have any comments on this, Amy? Nope. You don't like it? No. Nope. Too hard? Yep. What do you think? Um. Like another one of those ball puzzles, except that you don't see what's happening inside it. And I'm still wondering why there are little squares and arrows on it. Yeah, that's been and and no, and there's plus signs and minus signs. I, I, I can't figure it out. It's like it's like an enigma. Maybe they did it that way. This is like someday in the future, alien civilization will find us and they'll be like, what does this mean about humans? I don't know either. Okay, so that's all we can really say about this. I think it's a cool thing. It's kind of, to me, it's like, I mean, if, if this meant something, then it super elevates it, in my opinion. And maybe it does. It's really bugging me that, it, that I can't figure that out. I have even searched on the internet, and I couldn't find anything. But um, that would be so cool if I could get it out right here. Um, but it's still not coming out. Anyhow, um, I like it. Final things? Final thoughts, anyone? Ooh, Ratings? Um, okay. Four? Four? If, um, like, I'll give it a six now, but once, if the stuff, um... Mean something? Yeah, it would be better. What's your rating? Nine. Nine. Yeah, we know you like it. It's a pretty cool device. At least it's fun to play with. Very solid. As you see me throwing it down, it seemed to be do pretty well. Paradox Box. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Yeah. Yeah.